What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Toronto Tuners video. In today's episode, we're going to be installing an NVIDIA dual catback exhaust on Limbert's car. Now he drives a Subaru WRX. It's a, it's a 2019? 2018. 2018. So this is the stock muffler. Got the quad tips. So Bert, you want to start it up and we can hear what it sounds like. Here's the aftermarket exhaust. That, that's completely stock, right? Yeah. All right. Check out the titanium tips. All right, guys, so we're going to show you a how-to guide on how to install this exhaust. We're hoping it's going to be pretty straightforward. Exhaust bolts, hangers, that sort of thing, and we don't run into any trouble. So we have the dual capback mufflers. This is the mid pipe. It has this for the, what, the donut gasket? Maybe. We'll figure out as we go along. All right guys, so the car is jacked up. See what we're dealing with. So here is the muffler section. It looks like we have flanges and bolts here. Hainers are hiding up in there above the mufflers. Looks like that goes all the way back to the, it looks like a resonator or like a mini muffler over there. Undo it from down there first. And then we might be able to take out this whole thing as one piece. All right, so first step is spray everything with WD-40 because more than likely it's Barbie seized. I might need a deep socket actually. A deep socket. Here, it's definitely not a 17. It's not a 17. It's 15. 15? Yeah. 15, that's such a weird number. 14. For fuck's sakes. Say nobody uses 15. You fucking twat. <laughs> what do you want? A camera. Oh, okay, fuck, tell me that. Okay guys, it took me about five minutes till I realized that there's actually a nut on the back side as well. Right there. Hold that as well at the same time and I'll put you guys down while I do that. All right guys, so we changed to the head cam. This will be a lot easier for me to show you guys what I'm doing. So these bolts are actually giving me quite a hard time. I'd say the chances of me snapping these bolts are pretty high, but it's okay because we have new hardware. Is it Mike, yeah. is there a 9 16 wrench there? Yeah. Yeah, can you hand it to me? Yep, snapped it. Oh, I think you broke it. Yeah, you broke it. Yeah, she broke. <sighs> Alright guys, so unfortunately, snapped the bolts. Not surprising. You guys want to work on the back one? Actually, that, that whole muffler should come out now. To get off the hangers and it should come out. We, we can try. We might not have to undo those bolts holding the, the mufflers to the Y pipe. That's, that's, a, that's a big ass pipe. It's gonna be heavy. It's gonna drop and probably dent. Oh, there is a second hanger. Oh no. What? There's one here and then there's one in the back. Rip. It'd be a lot easier with this pipe off. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna have to take this pipe off. Impact, please. <laughs> <laughs> Broke hands garage. Are we gonna have an impact socket that size? What size do you need? I think it's a 14 as well. They're like really in there. Yeah, why did they make them like that? If I shatter the socket, it's not my fault. Uh, I got no power. Yeah, there we go. Guys, this is not the proper way to be doing it. We don't have any sockets this size. <laughs> Yo, that's exactly what I was doing with my car. Oh way. my God, this is so ghetto. Can you hold this? Yep, I can see if I can get this muffler off now. Oh yeah, they're coming off easy. Can't see the other one. Okay, hold the muffler, it's gonna come down. Okay. There's like no space to remove the muffler. Pull on it like this, Mike. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's do this side. All right, come and grab this mic. Hold that. Ow. Cake. Oh, and there's another exhaust stand. Can you get me like a uh, like a rag or something? 
she was already mad at one of her. That side always comes out easy. <laughs> Is there water in your muffler? That's what it sounds like. I was just gonna say, why do I hear water? <laughs> oh, it's right on the edge. Can you hold it? I'm trying to push the muffler forward. Oh yeah, it's coming. <laughs> All right guys, so one muffler, two muffler, and that Y pipe, I still gotta get the hanger off of that. It's probably stuck in between the baffles. <laughs> it's a water muffler. Subaru design. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another stupid fucking design by Subaru. How am I supposed to get this out? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> there, take the camera. And record. <laughs> I almost got knocked out by a muffler. I didn't even feel it giving way, and then it just like let go. I know. I saw. I yeah. thought it was still on. I didn't realize it fell off already. I hope that's all we have to do. There's the two uh, mufflers. Maybe. No. No? No, we're good. Because that joins the two mufflers here. This attaches to one of these ends. And Probably that would take that. up that. Now, this this is a Subaru driven in winter in Canada. So you guys might have an easier time if you live in sunshine states. All right. Let's, uh, let's start unpacking. All right, Mike. Start unwrapping this. Or, Bert, you want to do it? You want to unwrap your exhaust? So let's get this uh, installed uh, underneath the car. I'll put you guys back on my head so you can see what I'm doing. Here's our new gasket, gaskets and hardware. Let's go ahead and open this boy up. Four gaskets. These two I'm assuming are for the mufflers. So we'll leave those with them. And then these two guys will go one here and one on the other end there. So I'm gonna take these with me because that's what we're installing right now. And I'll take the bag of hardware because I don't know what goes in. But with the connecting pipe, they do supply you with new uh, other new hardware so we'll see what we need to use which one is this uh this side this side all right oh you guys should have left the caps on i don't want to get the tips dirty all right mike you want to give me a little hand here what, and support it doing? just support it bird i want you to red line it when we okay. get this on okay try pulling towards you yeah that should be good Good. yep well okay. that went a lot easier all right let's see the other side it's okay, we can always just bolt it up later. <laughs> can you support it again, Mike? Yeah. Okay, pull. That's good, that's good. There you are, guys. How's that look? Oh, that's looking saucy. All right guys, so we're gonna tighten up all the bolts and then uh, we'll give you a sound clip of it when it's all together and on the ground. All right guys, everything's tightened up. I got the, uh, the flange there tightened up with the, uh, there it is, with the, uh, with the connecting pipe with the uh, donut gasket. That flange is tight. Flanges for the mufflers are all tight. Bert also switched to his summer wheels because it's officially spring. It was first day of spring today here in Canada. Hot boy. Hot boy spring. Hot boy spring. And Bert is taking off his front lip because it is actually broken. It's fucked. <laughs> you can see it's missing the section here to here. If you look on the other side. Time to get a new one. 
<laughs> That's what it should look like. <laughs> Time to get a new lip. All right, so we're gonna drop the count a card down after we get the, the front lip off. And then you guys will get to hear a sound clip of the new exhaust. <clears throat> Alright guys, this is the moment of truth, let's hear it. too bad uh taking off the exhaust muffler like i said it, it was it did really depends how bad shape it is but it was pretty it wasn't too bad we got it off in uh, in a decent amount of time and putting the aftermarket exhaust on was a, a breeze like everything went on perfectly had no issues yeah other than that thanks for watching make sure to subscribe like the video we'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>